This workflow is going to look at some more of the analysis tools inside of SpaceMaker. So here I have a AI generated design. I'm going to look at the analysis of this for the daylight and the views. And then I'm going to go back to the AI and look at the tools to generate this based on views and daylight. So here we have the daylight tool. Uh, there's two options we have here, which is the visualize mesh, which is in beta, and then there's view analytics. So I'll just let the two of those run. There's also um, an obstruction angle tool here as well. And what you'll find is once these have completed, this overlay here will start to give us an indication of what we can achieve in terms of adequate daylight and possible daylight uh, right through to uh, satisfactory. Um, we can also, once these are done, click on the inspection tool and we can start to click on these uh, units here and then get real-time feedback on um, the design. So here we have our view analytics. Um, we've only got 5% below um, that that mark there so if we spin around we can see here's probably the five percent and when we go on and inspect it you can start to see um, the input on um, the uh, the VSC information so um, pretty handy little tools to allow you to show how much daylight is actually coming in so the VSC being the vertical sky component and it tells you a bit more about that um, the other one is the visualize of the mesh um, so again this one is in beta may take a little bit longer to calc because uh, if you've watched any other videos i did include this large obj file so this has gone and analyzed the neighboring Vijak Ingalls project here um, but you can see here we've got um, the information displaying whether it's for the actual design here or for any detailed imported mesh here. So we can see that the daylight penetration isn't too bad for the neighboring Majark Ingalls project, Big Architects. And down here where they have um, more of the facilities for parking the bicycles, that's not going to need as much daylight, but again, it's just uh, amenities in the building. So uh, next one we're going to be looking at here is the uh, view tool, and I have shown this in a previous tutorial overview. So this is looking at the distance and the view to area. And just taking a step back, I have actually included in the layers here views to areas. So I turn that on, I've got uh, three it should be showing in this and not showing uh, maybe because I'm just running the analysis here, here it is now showing so um, here are the three areas of interest the park the waterways and maybe a particular building of interest that's all been calculated and you can see here we have certain units that are going to get views certain ones that aren't going to get views so um, down here we can um, click on those individual units it will show on the floor plan and you can see information about what you're going to get in terms of the uh, view distances from that, that floor plan so um, here of course you're going to get um, these ones up here we can go and click on inspect click on that and that will give us the distance so it's not too bad um, of course, these, these corner units, you can kind of select on them and they, they will get a lot more. Whereas down the bottom here, um, the distance is only 31 meters. So again, you can either select this one or actually select the unit and it will tell you similar information. So uh, yeah, not, not the best views from down the below, bottom, bottom levels here. Uh, and then view to the areas. Uh, so that's calcing as well, and you can see here we have um, the areas it is capturing. So I've color-coded them in purple, 
green for the park and yellow for the um, maybe the, the building of interest um, and here again we can start to see them color coded so you can see here the green ones relate to the green park there and um, you can also select on units tells you information about that particular unit and same here um, you can go and hit the inspection and it will start to give you more information about what you're going to get used to so this one is color coded to pick up the water views the park views and the um, point of interest the building of interest so obviously that would be a high priced uh, unit whereas uh, maybe ones down here yeah, you're going to be getting some water glimpses so that may be still worth a little bit of money but the one down here doesn't hit, hit anything and you can start to see it's not allowing you to project to those spaces so uh, that is the, the video so we covered um, two features here the daylight analysis tool um, one doing the visualized mesh it is a beta so it is actually doing the entire um, site here with the imported OBJ files and then the view analytics so you can go and select on those objects and then look at that information and then the view here which is the one I just covered just showing the views to the, the key three areas so the distances and then the views to the points of interest and uh, that is the uh, video tutorial